Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. If you're on Twitter, you've probably seen the following image by now. It's an image shared by Tyler Shandro, Alberta's health minister. Shandro is trying to give the impression that Alberta is maintaining spending, which impression might assuage public fears that they're making spending cuts to health care. After all, $20.61 billion certainly seems bigger than $20.4 billion. Here's why this is misleading. Here's another image of the same data. I created it just for comparison's sake regarding some more graphs that I created. Now this graph would normally be fine, except it fails to account for two things, population growth, and inflation. If the population increases, then demand on services increases too. If inflation increases, then the cost of delivering services also increases, and not just for wages. Alberta's population in 2016 was 4,196,061 people. In 2019, it was 4,371,316. That means there are over 175,000 more people in the most recent budget year potentially needing health services than there were were at the start of the first budget year of the charts I showed before. A good way to measure spending based on population is to see how much we spent per capita. We can see that spending per capita was increasing for the second and third years in this chart. In the most recent budget year, however, per capita spending actually dropped. So health spending per capita increased during at least the last two years of the NDP administration and dropped during the first year of the UCP administration. Remember, however, population was only one of the factors we needed to consider. The other is inflation. Here's where the information is more telling. The following graph shows what per capita spending is, based in 2016 dollars. Alberta not only spent less per person in the most recent budget year, they spent even less when you account for inflation. Except this isn't even just a UCP issue. In an effort to reduce the deficit in an election year, the NDP spent less on healthcare services per capita in 2016 dollars than they did in not only 2017-2018, but even less than they did in 2016-2017. The UCP government spent $4,490.31 per capita in 2016 dollars on healthcare in their most recent budget year. They should have spent $4,797 per person in 2016 dollars. That $20.61 billion they spent should have been $20.969 dollars. That's almost $400 million more than they had budgeted. And that's for the most recent budget year. Clearly both population and inflation have increased since last year. So not only should spending be more than $20.61 billion dollars, in the current budget year, it should be more than $20.969 billion. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all these subscribers and Patreon patrons who make this video possible. You can follow me online at siever.ca slash Kim. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you appreciate the videos I share on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation either through PayPal or Patreon. If you agree with the points I raise in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, please click on the notification bell so you receive notifications every time I upload a new video, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.